Okay, so before I begin for real here, I... Okay, so I'm gonna do a little extra video. I want to get out some speculation. After the re recent events of yesterday's videos, I've had some thoughts juggling around a lot of the information, and I just want to put out there this wild speculation, just this wild idea I have. I don't know if it's going to be true. I don't, I'm assuming it, I'm going to be 100% completely off. I'm assuming that as soon as, you know, we go through today's actual episode, uh, I'm going to be like immediately right off the market. But I feel like I want to share where my brain is right now. And because I'm the one making the videos, I can. So here we go. I'm making this its own video because one, I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't want it to take normal video time. And two, I'm sure there's some people out there who just want to watch the video, like not even think about it, just like, like just, you know, just, just watch it, you know, just, and, and they don't want to have that in the background. They just want to experience the story as if without any like speculative in the background. So I'm just kind of keeping it something. Um, of course you can share or whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, okay. So as of now, Cecil has met many dead people. The only one that has been able to use ghost powers, let's call it ghost trick for now, has been Missile. Um, right? So, only one person, and it was the dog. Now, we saw that a meteorite possibly gave Missile these powers, gave the power to an animal. Now, yesterday, I joked that the pigeon man, like, actually the pigeon was the person, like, the person calling the shots, and the man was just kind of like, it's automaton, or it's servant just doing what it's, what it's doing. And, I mean, I said that as a joke, but I feel like there's something to do with that. Like, let's assume that's true. Let's assume that the pigeon is, again, I don't know, he was a bird, he was at the park, he was within the proximity of the meteorite, got its powers, but instead of having swap powers, it has people controlling powers. Like, different different animals, different people get different powers. Like, you know what? I mean, is that credible? Maybe, maybe not. Let's, let's just put that on the sideline. Okay, so, yesterday there was the big reveal that the stranger, the bad guy that was under arrest, escaped prison, and held young Lynn hostage, was either Cecil or a man very much looking exactly like Cecil. It was quite a shock. Now... I also want everyone to remember, like, remember way earlier in the series, at some point, like, we flashed back to, like, Cecil's dead body before he crumbled, and he was crumbled over a suitcase or, like, a bag or whatever that had a black cat in it. So here we go. Here's my wild speculation, is that the body of Cecil, like, Cecil was killed by the... By the... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, I just realized something, but I'm gonna keep going with it. Oh, okay. He was killed back then by the meteorite, pierced by a meteorite rock. My theory, and this is probably not gonna happen, is that the cat also got meteorite powers at some point, and Cecil is... He was dead, but um, is currently being used by the cat, sort of like a meat puppet, the same way the pigeon is using Pigeon Man. Now, I was wondering for a second, while Cecil was, like, kind of doing all right, like, he's pretty clean, that happened a lot of years ago, but that could have been an effect of the meat being killed by the meteorite. Like, if he was killed by something that gives powers, I think, actually, I think... That might be why the cat is able to use them. Maybe they're laying. Maybe they got killed like at the same time. And they're sharing. Maybe it's not full control. But they're kind of like sharing the zone or something. 
Because, like, so a lot of people have died, and sure, like, at, at, at first Cease was like, oh, well, my memory's so foggy, and Ray was like, well, that's because you're dead, your memory's gonna come back. No one else who died had that bad of memory loss, and a lot of the memory loss can actually be attributed to the manipulator. Like, it's so weird that Cecil just doesn't remember anything, and also the fact that he doesn't remember how to read at all. Like, that, to me means that he was a blank slate. He wasn't ever in real control of himself because it was the cat. And when he got shot, when he got killed a second time, I figure what happened is that that cut dissociation. So now he's independent, but without any of the support system he had from the cat, which is why he's just a complete blank slate anymore. That is my current theory. I don't have any theories on Ray. I don't have any theories on why Pigeon Man is and the Pigeon is doing anything they're doing, but those are the things that I was ta thinking about. So I guess you could say these were the things that were interesting to me, but I think that might be something that's going on. I'm looking forward to the next video, next session, just completely wrecking my speculation, but you know what? If there's, if there's even just a kernel of being right in there, I'm going to be excited. Alright, I'm going to stop now and I'm going to film today's video for the 24th of August.